Hey guys, it's Jam and I'm back with another video. As you can hear, I have a cold, so please bear with me. But today's video is going to be Does my person think about me? So pick pile one, two, three, or four, and let's get into the video. Hey guys, it's Jam and I'm back with another video. So this is if you pick pile number one. For today and its blessings, I owe the world an attitude of gratitude. So let's see how that ties into what if your person thinks about you. So firstly, this person thinks about you all of the time. And they think, and this is what about, what do they think about you? So they think that you have a good sense of responsibility and they see you as a type of light. And I think they see you as a blessing and they're really grateful towards you. I'm getting a type of... Um, motherly feeling for some reason not motherly but a type of it's just, there's just so much love it looks like it's family or it might even be mistaken maybe marriage or something like that but this person loves you so much ten of hearts and this is how they view you they see you as this queen you know you love to talk they see you charismatic they see you as um sophisticated they see you as thriving in um social interactions and things like that but at the same time, um, maybe you get a bit cocky with the amount, maybe you take advantage of them. I think this person thinks that you are unfaithful towards them also. Because they love you and they love you so much, but it's kind of like, they don't know. Maybe you're too high up, you're too high up there. So that's also and power maybe they think that you're too powerful and you're too great and they love you too much and they're worried that you don't love them back that's what i'm getting um so you should let this person know don't keep them in the dark you know because they are sure of their, their feelings definitely if you pick pile number two in helping others, we help ourselves. Whatever good we give out completes the circle and comes back to us. This could mean you guys are in separation and they're going to come back to you. Mm -hmm. Wow. So obviously something went down if you pick pile number two. So does this person think about you? Yes. They definitely think about you, no question about it. Um, but what do they think about you? They don't think, I don't think it's good what they're thinking. They think that you betrayed them. I don't know why this is all bad readings, but yeah, in helping others help ourselves for whatever good we give out. So maybe they think, or it can be vice versa, maybe it's not that they think badly of you, you think badly of them. But um, there was definitely deception that happened in here because a false friend or division and a need for like loneliness and this card is just like that separation type thing, you know. The conflict is what I'm getting. And break down the walls. So obviously there was something that wasn't resolved. You guys did not come to a mutual understanding. I don't, I don't think you guys ended this on good terms. Or if you guys are together, there's something that you guys aren't um, dealing with correctly in the right type of way. In helping others, you guys need to help yourselves. You guys need to deal with this if you want this situation to carry on. So I'm talking with my hands, but um, yeah, the balancer. Because right now it's kind of like you know the equilibrium so it's kind of like at a plateau type thing where it's uneven so you guys need to balance this out so that i can come back to you and i can come back stronger um because if you do i think it's gonna benefit you guys it's definitely gonna come back it's gonna come back around and it's gonna bring you fulfillment with regards to either money or a relationship or just better opportunities.
that sounded really formal i don't know why but um yeah that is if you pick pile number two if you pick pile number three to have a quiet mind is to possess one's mind wholly to have a calm spirit is to possess one's self okay does your person think about you yes They do think about you. They think about having a relationship with you and they're craving that type of intimacy. Um, so they, they are thinking about how they want to be closer with you and how they want to build that foundation with you and how they want to start, not a family because I feel like that, but if you guys are at if you guys are old enough and you know starting a family i feel like this person really just wants to be with you definitely um yeah this person wants to definitely start a family with you i can really see it but you see there's then this card the jack of spades so obviously there's a reason why you guys haven't done it yet because i feel like these two go together but um this is what's putting you guys up um okay i see i see so here's the feeling of envy so the mind holy i think that this person thinks that there is some sort of um this person is not at peace with themselves in this relationship i think that there is maybe thoughts of insecurity thoughts of jealousness like jealousy thoughts of jealousy and um this person thinks that they're going to lose you maybe because someone's not working hard enough because this person wants a relationship with you but it's kind of like there isn't one though maybe maybe the relationship hasn't begun yet because they want to and that's what they're thinking they're thinking about how they want to start the relationship but it hasn't come yet because of the feeling of envy and these two cards you see um So I think you need to reassure this person or oh, this person needs more reassurance or oh, you need more reassurance in the relationship because otherwise it's going to fail. It's going to fail if you guys don't um, come over the insecurities and things like that. If you pick pile number four. A smile is a light in the window of the soul, indicating that the heart is at home. Does your person think about you? Yes. Oh my word. I think this person thinks about you every single night before they go to bed. <laughs> wow. Look at all of these clubs. How much are on their mind? You're on their mind. So firstly, they think really highly of you. Look at this. So age gap. The king and the jack. Youthfulness. One of you is younger. One of you is older. They see you. They think highly of you. They think respectably of you. Maybe they think of you in a mature way, definitely. They think they respect you. They think about you of... Like, they think admiration. That's what they're thinking. Um... I think that they want to change the relationship, maybe. Maybe this person sees you only as a friend. Or something like that, because... But I think they're... Yeah, this person just like... You might be in the friend zone with this person. Mm -hmm. I'd say someone is leaving you with this card. So you guys are obviously friends, and they smile, and when they think about you, they smile. They're like, yeah, that's my friend. This is, or oh, this is just, they smile because, like, at the thought of you, just the possibility of you. But I don't think that this person is thinking about you in a way that they, you think that they are. Because obviously they care about you, and they respect you, and they value you. But there's something that's separating you guys, because 
everything looks like it's there like it's all there you know they think about you and they think about home you're their heart you know you're their home but i'm not seeing any love here i'm not seeing any passion here it's like it's all in the mind so i don't know if this is a fictional type thing or if something broke you guys up But this person supports you and this person wants the best for you and I think that's what they think when they think about you. They just think about how they, but yeah, you know, they want the best for you, they want you to be happy. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.